Hi, I'm Garcello Jaibar, and today I'm going to show you how to block your IP using a program called PairBlock. PairBlock is a program that lets you control who your computer talks to on the internet by selecting appropriate lists of known bad computers. You can block communication with advertising or spyware oriented servers, computers monitoring your P2P activities, computers which have been hacked, or even entire countries. They can't get into your computer and your computer won't try to send them anything either. Now, in order to get PairBlock, we're going to download it from the internet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open our web browsers, and then we're going to type in PairBlock. Once you've sure searched it, we're going to click the first link, which brings us to their site. Then we're going to select the Downloads tab in the top right, and then we're going to get the stable release, so we're going to click PairBlock 1.1. After that, we're going to scroll down a little bit, or until it says get it here, and there we will download the installer with the mirror provided. Once the installation is complete, we're going to go ahead and run it. And now we reach the setup. Here on the setup, we're going to select next a couple times. So first we're going to agree to the terms and then we're going to hit next. After that, we're going to continue to hit next and next. Now that we've reached the install, we're going to select install and then it's going to install. Now that it's finished, we want to launch the pair block after we're done. So we're going to keep that checked and select finish. Now we've reached the setup wizard, which will help us set up pair block. So we're going to select next, and we want to block everything. So we're going to go ahead and check all the boxes up to education. There's also an import create list for more advanced users, which allows you to create your own list and block specific people. So we're going to go ahead and click next. And we wanted to update every other day. That's the default setting, so that's what we're just going to keep it at. But if you wanted it to update less, like every time a week or every day, you could go ahead and do so. So we're going to click next. And then we're going to select finish. Now, since it's our first time running the program, it's going to update. And the update usually doesn't take too long. It's usually from 10 to 15 seconds. Now that it is finished, we're going to go ahead and select close. And then it's going to generate the list cache. Also, once it's done, it's going to be in the bottom right corner of your screen as an icon, which is a little block, which represents the pair block. So now, as you can see, there's not much activity going on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to go to our Cal Poly web page. And as you can see, when we click on it, we are unable to access the page. Now, once we go back to PairBlock, it'll show our school right here. And then the action performed is that it was blocked. But we really wouldn't want to get blocked every time we go to a government or a school website. So what we're going to do is we're going to select Allow HTTP. This will allow us to surf the web freely without anything being blocked. And as you can see, in the bottom right, the icon has turned yellow now, which means HTTP is allowed. So now when we refresh the page, we are at our school's website. But PairBlock is most effectively used when we download torrents. So we're going to download some torrents. A good website is clearbits.com where we can get free legal songs. So we're going to download this album right here. And we'll download another one. Let's say this cool art one. 
I use uTorrent to get torrent so as I open up the torrent my uTorrent will pop up and the downloads will commence I'll go ahead and minimize the uTorrent I'll proceed to open up the pair block box and as you can see activity is already going on programs like Trident Media Guard, Global Village Telecom, they're all being blocked. And activity is quite heavy as it is blocking everything. If I, for example, wanted to allow UniNet to go through, I would right click it and either allow it for 15 minutes, an hour, or permanently. And that's how you operate uTorrent. And pair block. Now, what we've learned today is how to use pair block and how to get it from the internet. Pair block allows you to block connections from incoming computers all over the world. And that's it.